Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another how to be bougie on a budget video. So this is all about looking more expensive than you actually are, <laughs> getting things for cheaper prices or kind of recreating looks that are inspired by luxury design. So, so today I literally have everything in this video from like fashion to even home decor stuff that you can kind of bougie up your house a little bit more. So, so anyway, if you like these kind of videos, um, leave a like. First of all, I have one more of these videos if you want to go check that one out. I have a lot of good tips in that one also. And that's all I have to say. Let's just get into it. <laughs> so first things first, let's start with my first tip. And it actually has to do with Shop Tagger. So thank you, Shop Tagger, for sponsoring this video once again. I work with them all the time. And it's something that people message me about constantly after I make these videos, um, asking me what's what's the name of that extension. So Shop Tagger is a browser extension, but it's also a mobile app now where you can save items that you are shopping for, organize them all into different lists, and then it can notify you when those items go on sale or if they're low in stock or if they're back in stock. So it's a good way to get brand name items for cheaper prices. So you don't have to pay full price for anything. You can just wait till it goes on sale and you'll be alerted. So I'm actually gonna jump into a quick tutorial now so you can see how it works and hopefully that'll be really helpful and you'll see what I'm talking about. So you can actually just go to the Chrome web store and that is how you can download this. So I already have it, so I'm not gonna do it, but this is the button that you would theoretically press, but I'm gonna have a link down below so it'll be like a straight shot for you guys to go download it. But um, this is where it's gonna pop up over here. So it's an extension. So I'm gonna actually show you how to save an item. But first I just wanna show you, this is my shop tagger page where these are all my items that I've saved. So um, I'm kind of an addict when it comes to saving things because I really don't like to pay full price for things even if they're like really cheap. <laughs> so um, let me show you how to save something though because this is kind of interesting and a lot of the tips I'm gonna be talking about in this video relate to this and this one actually in particular. So. Uh, these so let's say I want to get these shoes. So I'm on boohoo right now and these are the retro chunky sports trainers So I can go up here to the extension and save it. So I am a size 7 No, I usually do notify when any price changes um, You can do like up to 50% off or any of those I just do any price change and then you can actually add it to your list So I have a list of shoes already and then you just click save and it's literally that easy so I just want to po quickly point out though, do these shoes look familiar? First look at this price. Do these shoes look a little bit familiar to you? <laughs> yeah, they're, I think they're definitely inspired. So anyway, let's go over to my page. So you can see that it now ended up here and it alerted me that it's on sale. So you can choose what push notifications you want. You can get them via email or you can get them via text when things go on sale. So I have email notifications, so I probably got an email saying that these are on sale. Um, you also get stuff if it's like out of stock, or you can you can kind of customize them that way. But this is a really cool feature um, that they just actually introduced, and you can actually click this similar option right here, and it shows you items that are similar. So anyway, this is pretty cool, but. It's really cool too because you can kind of organize and plan your shopping. So I have like all my bags in one place. I have all my boots saved in one place. Um, one thing that I really love to do, and you guys know this, is I like to save tech. So obviously I have a pipe dream of being a Twitch streamer. <laughs> Don't know when that's going to happen. Maybe when these go on sale. But um, yeah, I have it all in one place. I just love that. So I'm going to have a link down below for you guys to download Shop Tagger, and you guys can start shopping the post-holiday and end of season sales. Okay, so my next tip involves designer things. So I actually have a thing, I have a policy with myself that I'm not gonna buy any designer items until all of my student loans are paid off. So I think that's just a financially um, smart move. It's, you know, financial discipline and I don't think that you should go into debt over any item, especially with the way that designer items are so trendy these days. So. To combat that um, a little bit, one thing I like to do is I like to look for things that are inspired by designer items and I like to avoid logos. So any item that's designer um, that has a logo on it, I'm like, no thank you. Like if it has the name on it, I try to avoid that also um, because it's kind of a dead giveaway that like, okay, that's not a designer thing. You know what I'm saying? And there are a couple things you can find within designer um, collections and different things that don't have any logos but there's really good replicas and dupes of them so one of those things I've talked about this a little bit before 
but these are a dupe for the Chloe booties. The Chloe boots actually retail for $1,300. It's actually closer to $1,400. So um, these were on Amazon. They're like $98 or like 90 bucks or something like that. So these are exact dupes. They look exactly the same to the Chloe ones. There's virtually no difference between the two, maybe quality, but you know, who really cares for that big of a price discrepancy? Who really cares? But this has, the Chloe boots have no logo on them. Nobody would ever be able to tell that these are not the real thing. So these are the kind of things that I like to look for and I like to buy. I'll link those down below if you want to go purchase them. But I have another thing too. Um, and again, this is this is not sponsored, but I, I do like Boohoo because they have a lot of things on their website that are kind of inspired by a lot of the designer things. And again, with buying trendy designer things has got to be the dumbest thing you can do these days. And that's, I mean, I guess that's a little bit of an opinion, but things go in and out of style so quickly that you buy something for $1,000 and it's not cool anymore. So then it's like, you just lost $1,000, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, one thing, these are super trendy, obviously, um, like dad shoes in general. So again, I got these on boohoo.com, but they look so similar to a pair of Gucci um, sneakers that are like, they're like over $700. So it's like, who can really tell these days what's, you know, it's just the look that you're kind of going for. So I like to go for stuff like this. Again, the, some of the Gucci stuff is pretty easy to not rip off, but be inspired by and make inspired things because a lot of the time they do leave their logo out of it or they make it so small that you wouldn't even be able to see it anyway, unless you were up close in somebody's shoes, like who's gonna do that? So um, that's bizarre. So anyway, yeah, these are something that I, I would go for, for sure. I don't know, they have like a bunch of them on their website, but there's a lot of things like that on Boohoo if you wanna just go check it out. And again, you can use Shop Tagger to save those items because um, those can go even, you know, they, they can really be heavily discounted to like literally $10 for a pair of shoes or something like that. So um, just watch those sales, save them to your Shop Tagger page and then you can kind of see when those go on sale or if they're low in stock because sometimes they're like, they're here today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> my next tip, this is like one of my favorite things ever, and it actually has to do with like kitchen, you know, kind of that luxury home feel. Um, a lot of the newer developments and just luxury places have under the under ca the cabinet lighting. So one thing that I did to replicate that was I actually bought on Amazon these um, motion activated light sensors. It comes in a pack of three for $15 or so. You just pop in some batteries and then I stuck them up there with command strips and I can just remove them like so easily. And plus I live in a rental, so I don't wanna actually put money into hiring an electrician or putting actual lights in. I'm not gonna do that, like permanent lights. I'm just not gonna do that. It wouldn't be smart. So I like these temporary, it's like a temporary thing, but you can also just put it in even your home if you own your home or whatever, it's just a really nice upgrade. I think under the cabinet lights are so luxurious and I like it too because they just pop on wherever you are. So if it's like, you know, dark at night, you don't have to waste electricity. Um, you can just like go and do stuff and the light pops on. So another thing that I have, if you guys know me, you know that my hair salon is way too expensive. It's stupid expensive and they make you pay for such, stupid stuff that a lot of salons don't make you pay for. Um, but at a lot of the expensive salons, they will always probably try to get you to add on Olaplex to your hair coloring. So if you get your hair colored, um, they will say, oh, do you wanna add a Olaplex to it? But they don't tell you it's like a 35 or $40 upcharge to add it in because it's like a patented uh, formula and you know in it and it really does work though so it's kind of hard to say no to that kind of thing but of course I always say no because I'm like no thank you <laughs> not trying to spend more money here um, but one thing I found is these things so they sell actual Olaplex at uh, Sephora now so I buy these for $28 each this is 28 this is 28 and then you can also get this one and it's just the regular um, Olaplex like number three it's like a hair mask so again it's patented technology so you're not gonna find it anywhere else so that's why I like to buy I actually like to buy it 
and this tr these are actually cheaper than if you would get a one-time um, addition of the Olaplex into your coloring. So it totally changes your hair. It's amazing. Um, everybody asks me how my hair isn't like broken off and, <laughs> and like literally dead because I bleach it so much and it's so blonde. Um, and honestly, Olaplex has made it grow so long and it's so soft. So it really does make a difference but I'm not gonna try to pay for it every single time I go. So one way you can get around that is just to buy it uh, straight up <laughs> and use it at home. But another, th another hair thing, and I've mentioned this tool before, but it's just such a good tool. So this is a random brand. This is called True Beauty. And I, again, I just got this on Amazon for like $40 or something like that. And I know that there's hair in it, but I don't really care. I'm just not getting it out, so don't even mention it. But I love this tool because it's kind of like an at-home blowout tool and if you know anything about blowouts it's like it's kind of I don't know it's it's like a something that like people with a lot of money do a lot like people go to blow dry bars and I don't know to me it's kind of a frivolous thing like you know it's something that maybe you would do once I don't know it's just it's a pamper routine it's not a necessity whatsoever but it does give a really luxurious look to your hair it's a service you can get on your hair that usually costs a lot of money and it's just something that people like, I don't know, if you ever read the Click series in middle school or high school, um, it's a book series and the main character is Massey Block and she's like some super rich teen or whatever. But in the the whole time throughout the book, she's like, you need to go get a blowout. You need to go get a blowout, whatever. She's always getting blowouts. So it's hard to get a blowout on yourself because the way that you're, it's like hard to you know get around and get the round brush underneath your hair, especially in the back. So I like the way that this rotates with the click of a button and you virtually need like one hand to do it. And you can actually get the back of your hair. It gives a really nice sleek look to your hair that a blowout gives. It gives, it makes it like really sleek and shiny. And that's like the whole point of a blowout. So I just like this tool. I think it's a good way around it. And instead of going to like a blow dry bar, there's like dry bars and stuff that people go to. They spend like $50 for a blow, like a blowout. It's like, no. I'm just gonna do it at home myself and plus you don't have to leave the house which is the best part arguably so my next tip is actually a sneaky little tip that i've been using for a while now and it's a tip on how to make it look like you took a picture with an expensive camera so i actually uh know how much lenses cost these days i am like oh my god i'm just i'm astonished and i'm just ashamed and disgusted by how much they cost the lens that i use now if you can see it blurs the background um but i still had to pay 500 dollars for this stupid little thing so um and and other ones that people use like other youtubers they use one that's like 700 800 close to a thousand dollars i'm like no this is the sigma um f what is it called this this is the sigma 16 millimeter by the way which i'll link below um that's another one where you can do the shop tagger thing and wait for it to go on sale if you want to buy this one but one way you can get around that is um, what I like to do, and I like to blur the background of my photos so it makes it look like you took a picture with a, an expensive lens on your camera. So what I like to do is I, you do have to buy Facetune for this, but if you don't have Facetune yet, I don't know what you're doing. I mean, it's just like, it's just such a great app because it just makes everything better. So what I like to do is I like to go over to defocus and then I like to just blur the background. So I'm, right now I'm just kind of going over um, the background of this photo and I'm going over like the tree in the background, the little reindeer thing I have. I go over the walls, any like doors, anything like that, anything in the background and I go through all of it. So um, you can kind of see things changing a little bit. It's a very subtle change, but then I like to go into a race and make sure that I didn't um, go over like any parts of my hair or my clothes because then it looks obvious that you did this <laughs> so be careful about that but like I, any strands of hair I kind of like go back and erase any blurring I did on those you can see the difference between the two photos it just one of them looks like you really took a really cool focus picture and then one of them looks like just a regular picture you know what I'm saying so that's a little trick I've been doing forever now and uh, let me know send me some pictures actually if you ever do that that'd be actually kind of cool but my next tip is, um, this one's like, I don't know if this is obvious or not, but maybe it isn't for you. So anyway, I use these. So these are crystal knobs. I actually get these at Home Goods, 
and I buy them in like a pack, you can buy them in like a pack of four, a pack of six, pack of eight, whatever. Um, and you probably get them on Amazon too, but they're really cheap. I think I bought these for $7. And I like to change out the knobs on different kinds of furniture and stuff like that, and it gives it a really nice upscale vibe. I love these crystal knobs, they're just so glamorous. And one thing that I did was I changed them on my old Ikea dresser and it instantly upgraded it to a much nicer piece of furniture. So it's a good way to just quickly upgrade and you know, you know. So that's a good tip for sure. Definitely look into getting those and then let me send me some pictures of that too because I actually want to see them. <laughs> okay, so anyway, my last tip is I like to re- purpose a lot of my kitchen stuff and I like to take it out of the original packaging because I don't for some reason I don't know if it's an OCD thing or if it's me trying to be bougier than I am but I don't like the packaging some things come in and sometimes I like to buy like really cheap I don't know spices and like olive oils and stuff like I don't notice the difference I don't care about the difference you know what I'm saying but I don't like the packaging of it so what I did is I bought two things I bought one thing from a Dollar Tree which is a um, little olive oil container and I repurposed my olive oil that I bought a cheap olive oil from Aldi and I repurposed it into um, This olive oil container which is so it looks so luxurious because that's what a lot of the top chefs use because <laughs> I watch a lot of cooking shows um, But it also gives it a nice practical Drizzle which is so easy. I feel like a top chef when you do it I'm, I'm like literally serious, but it's more practical because it doesn't just fly out like a lot of the um like cheaper olive oils do, like they don't have a nice spout to it or whatever. I, I mean, this is getting weird, but anyway, it's such a cool upgrade. I love it and it just looks luxurious too. I leave it out always and I just leave it next to my um, stove and it's just, it's the best. It's the best thing I ever did, seriously. Um, but another thing I did is I bought a spice rack and a spice organizer and it has changed my life. I don't like the way that the McCormick spice things look. I don't like, I have a bunch of different ones. You always have to buy different spices from different you know things or whatever and I don't like that that they're not uniform so I bought a spice rack it was like 20 bucks super easy and I just repurposed them into all these uniform jars changed my life changed my life and it looks so good you can actually put it on display if you want to I keep them up in my cabinet but it looks so much better and I labeled them and it just looks it's just it's more practical too so that's another great thing to do. Anyway, those are all my tips for this video. Please leave a like if you enjoy these kind of videos because I love to make them and I would love to do another one or maybe I'll just do a video like how to be on a, like, I don't know, live on a budget type of thing because I have a lot of those tips also um, that maybe aren't necessarily related to looking more expensive than you are. Make sure to download Shop Tagger below. Again, thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. I love working with them, they're the best. And make sure you download it because it's totally free and it exists solely to save you money and to help you organize your purchases. So it's just a great tool. Yeah, that's all I have to say for today. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Yeah, you can take me there.